workflows the workflows other others call them the maker checker what are they how can we be able to create custom workflows this uh, series is finally here the workflow series it's been a request for a few of my subscribers and it's been long overdue but finally we are here better late than never okay i love the name maker checker because it makes it easier to understand there is someone who makes the document or who creates the document and there is someone who checks or verifies that the document that has been created is good enough to proceed to the next step you know basically when we are uh, posting documents in the system or most of the time when we are creating documents we usually transfer data from one uh, uh okay from one table to another or from one data source to another the data source could be the form that the customer has filled or it could be uh from the uh da data from a web service so that's the data source and then you're transferring it to now your table. And now to make sure that it goes now or it's committed, let's say, or it's certified, you say that this uh, data that is being filled has been confirmed to be a true copy of the data that we were expecting. Then we need a checker to just make sure that everything is okay. Workflows in Business Central have been implemented using events. And I know events is a topic which uh, confuses some people, but workflows are uh, heavily relies on events. And when we uh, open Business Central and search for workflows, when you just search for workflows randomly, we'll be able to see, okay, here I've created a few two of them but you have these options uh, you can create a workflow from a template uh, in the home you can import from a file or export you can also be able to maybe delete if you are not you don't want them and if I view the templates here I can maybe select the general journal batch workflow this is the template and uh, when I just click on it it's created the workflow when I edit uh, let me see I can be able to edit the workflow yes but okay this is just the workflow view from the templates let me create new from now this particular template, the general journal batch workflow. But I still want to create this general journal batch workflow itself, not any other workflow. So here it gives us a template in the form with a code with MS, maybe Microsoft, and then the name of the workflow, then with the category, which is... Uh, which uh, finance this is just for grouping nothing much here and we have a boolean here to specify if it has been enabled or not and workflows follow a pattern of an event uh, it is like the given when then so when event then response so if you are keen you can look at this uh, tab here on the workflow responses so when i click on a particular event it shows us the responses that are there so uh, an approval of a general journal batch is requested when there is no condition here then we check if the general journal batch is balanced that's the response we are checking if it's balanced balanced but when I click on this uh, workflow you can see there is only one response here when it's now balanced we add a record restriction, which will add the record to the record restrictions uh, here. Restricted records, something similar to this. And then 
uh, we create an approval request for the record and then we send the approval request for the record. Um, so these are actions that are happening as we are creating or we are actioning our general general batch approval request. And then uh, if it's approved and there are no pending approvals, we remove that record restriction. And remo removing the record restriction is similar to now approving. We are saying now this record is not restricted. It can be posted. There's no restriction set on the record. A restriction is preventing the record from moving to the next step. We are saying like in the journal, we have added a record restriction to mean that you can't be able to post the journal unless approved. Okay, in workflows, most of the time, we do have an approval user setup. First of all, for you to be able to work with users and workflows, apart from having set users in the users page, you still need to set them in the user setup page. And here is a place where you can be able to actually use the okay I needed to open the approval user setup once you have set them in the user setup you can select the user in the approval user setup and it gives you uh, an an option of setting the approver id this is for one option of the approval which is the direct approval and uh, you can also have an option of setting the substitute for that particular user and uh, you can even say if this is an approval administrator and this is a user who has the rights to unblock approval workflows, for example, by de delegating approval requests to new substitute approvers and deleting overdue approval requests. And the approval administrator can be able to see all the approval approvals that have been set up in the system. So there is the approval... Um, user setup test you can be able to maybe set a test to confirm if this approval user setup has been set accurately so if i say maybe the user technam sangi has the approval been set okay then we can be able to preview this particular report and uh, you see most of it is Okay, okay, is either set up as an approver in the sales approval route or his his own approval. So uh, this is where you can be able to test to see if there is something wrong in the setup for your approval user. Okay, we uh, the target of this series, the approval, the workflow series will be to make sure that we are able to create our custom workflows but the most important thing for us to understand is um, a document when you are creating a document you usually send for approval so the fact that i have created a workflow for the general journal batch here if i try to post now the general journal uh, batch because my workflow doesn't have a condition it means whichever batch I'll try to post using, I should go through approval. So uh, if I add this test batch, I expect that without a balancing account, of course, and uh, maybe use whichever GL that has direct posting, uh, maybe the cash GL vis-a-vis uh, -vis or the as a credit and then uh, we reduce the cash from this GL and probably debit the bank with the same amount um, and then okay I don't know if I've restricted so if let's see am I able to post Boom. Do you want to post the lines? Okay. Error. You cannot use the general journal line. Uh, test 10,000. The restriction was imposed 
yeah, imposed because the journal batch requires approval. So I have just created and I have tried to post without um, sending it for approval. And this is the error I'm getting. We have just enabled that workflow. And the first condition that happened was adding a record restriction. The first condition was we just added a record restriction if it's balanced. So it confirmed that it's balanced and it added a record restriction. And that record restriction has been confirmed by the post fu function and so that our uh, uh, journal batch has a record restriction which has prevented us from posting to this particular journal. So uh, the record restriction is there. And the other thing that you need to confirm is who is the approver of this journal? Because I haven't confirmed that. So if I disable and click on this journal back, when it's balanced, we add a record restriction. And then, OK, let me click on this. So we create an approval using approver and limit type direct approver. So this one will be going to a direct approver. So we have different options here, sales, personal purchaser, and then we have approver that goes to the direct approver. Or we still could have the first qualified approver, approver chain, or the specific approver where we can specify the specific user that we'd want to specify as the approver. And I'll probably say the admin is the approver. So just to make sure that this one has a specific user, only the admin is able to approve for this particular workflow. And I'll go back to my test workflow and request for approval for the journal batch because, uh, okay, the approval has been sent. Uh, because we have set it for the batch and not for the uh, journal template, general journal template. So here we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, here we are. And here is our batch. The approver ID is admin, as we have just specified. And on the other side, the admin user should be able to approve this particular journal. I don't know if I remember the password of the admin. Okay, 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 okay. I should have set a different user whom I remember the password. Mm. Come on. It seems I don't remember this password, but uh, where did I place this password? My goodness. Um, I can't remember the password of the admin user. So once once you create this, let me look at the ISC for for creation of the password and see if I'd remember it. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know. Is this the password? Let's see. Yeah, we got the password for this admin user. And um, so in the requests to approve, uh, we'll find that we do have uh, uh, an expected journal. And it des uh, definitely in the details ge gives us the uh, primary key that has been used. And then the send ID and then the approval due date. Then we do have an option to open the record and see what was actually created by this particular user who sent 
an approval to us and we confirm that everything is okay and if the approver has confirmed they can approve the document and once approved when you go back now to our um, a document on this side we can post successfully without having that record restriction and uh, we have posted our record and that that's the flow you make someone checks confirms that it's okay then only then you're able to approve and it gives a control of the system and it makes sure that uh, those controls ensure that there is data integrity and it reduces system fraud and makes the system more secure okay in the next video we will start deconstructing these workflows uh, i'm not sure if i'll have a video on easter monday but most likely on the monday uh, after easter monday that is two weeks from now we will start uh, digging deeper by creating a document and then uh, creating a workflow so if you have any request related to workflow please bring it forward before that as i am preparing this series so i will see you in the next video in two weeks time if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one 